previously on Night's Quest. Is something going down at the gate you might want to hear about? Hello, it's me. So everyone gather around, and Mirjik is going to tell you the story how we changed the gate. Hello, everyone. It is me, Nathan. <laughs> I was. I should have told yeah. Jamie. Do you say you're here too? I am also here. But th- it's just. I us. thought you. I thought you were planning like a mini monologue to start this recording. <laughs> but then, if yeah, oh, yeah, and no. then that's what happened. <laughs> Again, this is. This is what happens when only two of us record an episode. Yep, it already we, feels weird. It's already wrong. <laughs> uh, now, for those of you who have never listened to any of our bonus episodes, which, again, I highly recommend you stop right now, go back and listen to the New Rules episode. That is now required curriculum for this episode. <laughs> I feel like it wasn't at first, but it definitely is now. It, it was not. It was like, ah, oh, you know, you can if you want to, mm. but now, you, if you want to skip, like, the rules bit, you can, but the, the story parts are very important. It actually important. became very important. <laughs> very important, because uh, we will be building off of that um, in this episode with just Jamie and myself. And this is the first, like, normal episode that doesn't have Jake in it, and I hate it. Yeah. Um, but for, this, for the sake of uh, getting something different and we realized none of his characters were going to be in this episode right. so uh, we didn't want to waste his time um and he wanted to be surprised too so jake hi hey jake hello this is the first time you're hearing this i love you uh jake i already miss you the energy is weird without you <laughs> it's so weird jake <laughs> we, we need you in this skype call <laughs> but what we're gonna be doing here as you heard in the last episode is we're gonna be recounting the tale of mirjik and his assistant that he has picked up uh, as yeah, it led up. I'm going to go ahead and put the word assistant in quotation marks because that word contains multitudes. But yes, Partner continue. Partner in crime, um, <laughs> buddy, um, slave. Um, <laughs> one of those, if not all. We we rewind times. the tape to you to the recording of you saying, and uh, you have been seduced by Mirjik. That's canon. <laughs> and then we come back to this. <laughs> <laughs> buddy, pal, assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Seducy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So uh we're gonna we're gonna recount their journeys. Yep. And uh and this is gonna get very weird. I don't know how weird, but it's a pure Murgic focused episode, so it's gonna get weird. How weird is it gonna be? We put together an entire carefully graphed table to calculate the weirdness. That's <laughs> there's nothing more chaotic than careful organized planning. Look at our spreadsheets! Look at look at the charts! Look at these charts! You can't, because this is an audio medium. Don't even try, Lowell. I'm not posting them anywhere. These are trade secrets. <laughs> you're driving anyway. Don't. Jake, you're probably driving too. <laughs> For the... Now, Lowell's revenge. Now Jake is the one driving. <laughs> Jake is the one driving. Uh... Actually, I don't know if Jake listens... I know when I listen, it's first thing in the morning while right. I'm still laying in bed. Yeah, we we all kind of li- we all listen to it differently because I usually like will take a walk, and sometimes that's like super late at night. And some people listen to it while they're driving, and some people listen to it like right in the morning when it drops. It's all different I, kinds. I listen when it drops because yep. there have been times where it accidentally dropped with like an error, and I need to catch it. Before oh, it's gotcha, too late. gotcha. Yeah. Anyway, that's not what this yep. is about. Night's Quest is about stories and getting <laughs> distracted. Uh, so we've done that. Check. Yeah. Story time. <laughs> Story, the story's in. Story okay. Time. When we last left off, Mirjik and Salim, yep. they were leaving the village of A. The village of A was, le- was left in quite a state. The uh, chickens had gained the power of anti-gravity. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a new moon just hanging in the sky, but like low enough that people can just kind of see it and... One of our characters is trapped, stuck on that moon, just walking around. 
Everyone's hands, hands turned purple. purple. Yeah. The town now smells like pumpernickel bread. <laughs> uh, we said that everyone's eyes have become striped, and we don't yeah, know what don't, that means. Don't, like, don't think about don't, it. <laughs> don't think about it. But the important thing is Salim and Mirjik, newly in their... Uh, newly betrothed. Newly betrothed. They flew away in a magic cloud. For their honeymoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what Mirjik yeah. thinks about it. We could call that moon the honeymoon, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, it is now. <laughs> oh, no, I, that's actually incorrect. We already d- decided it was called the chicken moon because all the chickens oh. were flying around it. The okay, chickens were right. caught in its gravitational pull. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a silly episode. I loved it. It was really good. Uh, okay, but that was that episode. Yeah. This is this episode. So we are going to be connecting the dots from that day, yeah. which was the first day... I'm picturing season three has so far spanned four days of time. You can go back. You can track it yourself. All of that happened on day one. Yep. Mirjik is now communicating with our friends on day four. We need to figure out what happened between those dates. Hell yeah. And what level of chaos has begun. And I expect a lot. All right. So um, their mode of transportation is, of course, going to be by cloud. Uh, Mirjik (laughs) is this dark... Ter- like from a normal standpoint this is terrifying right. because you're in the desert you don't see storm clouds like at all oh uh, right yeah, as, yeah yeah at least as far as i understand i could be wrong i've never lived there but i'm assuming there's not like a lot of thunder clouds and he's just this rogue fast moving thunder cloud with probably hints of red light in the uh in the rules episode he actually did a lot of weird shit with the sky um mm-hmm. he changed like how light things were it like looked like different times a day when it shouldn't have been and the oh, cloud yes. thing was a big part of that so i so i can absolutely picture that he's just like on this weird color shifting cloud that is screwing up the natural yep. sky yeah yeah i think like as he's moving areas like around there's like a radius yep. around him that things just without even Mirjik like deciding to are just being wrong or weird or different. Oh yeah. Like sky looking different times of day, things maybe floating when they shouldn't, you know, the things that we saw in the bonus episode. Right. It's just happening all over. Now again, there's not a ton of people in the desert that this is going to be impacting, but the few people, they're going to they're going to figure it out, right? They're yeah, smart people. I imagine that like stretches of the desert sand are turning into like uh like water or jungle or like canyon or something but like since there's no one around to be impacted by it Mirjik is just like oh this is boring you know and just <laughs> and stops like, yeah small patches like right. one foot by one foot squares <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like minecraft yeah yeah <laughs> different <laughs> minecraft cubes and blocks have been placed <laughs> but only sometimes when he feels like doing that right, um, right or not um so while they're traveling again there's not a ton of stuff and i think Mirjik, while he is chaotic, he's also, he's not, like, stupid. Like, we, right, we saw right. at the end of season two, he does have, like, a core mind that does have a plan. And so I yeah, think at yeah. this point in his journey, he's so fresh at this, he's got a little bit more control over that. And so his big goal is, I want to go make the biggest impact, and that's going to be the gate. Yeah. The, the idea that, like, a character who's all about chaos can't have goals or plans i've never completely agreed with that because like i don't think i don't think chaos means you can't think about anything you know so i i Mm -hmm. i think it actually serves the purpose of chaos more to be able to think Mm -hmm. and construct a little bit and like he went to the village of a to do a little test run oh he's good and now he's like all right target number one we're going to the gate so he's just going straight there he's not going to be visiting the oasis right or um, any other sites that we've known. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> or uh, even, heaven forbid, the village of B. Right. <laughs> yeah, we did have that one, didn't we? I think so. <laughs> I think we did. That was a thing on there, yeah. Because uh, that's in the other direction. Sure, that's why. <laughs> I said that. Now I know why. That's because that's why. Yeah. Um, but the thing I want to touch on before they actually get to the gate is Salim and Mirjik. They spend a couple days on this road trip. Um, right. Mirjik, he is flying. And he could teleport, but I think he doesn't want to. I think he's... Maybe maybe he can't teleport in this form, maybe? Okay. The the teleporting thing had kind of slipped my mind, so I didn't even think of that as a plot hole until you mentioned it. <laughs> or maybe he can he can only teleport others. Oh, okay. But he can't maybe. teleport himself. I like that. Okay. He did debatably teleport the ring and himself out of harm's way in the finale. Is that a problem at all? He teleported the ring. Okay. 
Fair enough. Which is a thing. Sure thing. That's what. That's my. That's my plot hole. So take that. Works for me. Haters. Okay, so they're on a road <laughs> trip. Um, <laughs> Mirjik and Salim. How do they spend yeah. this road trip? How do they bond? I guess there would be plenty of time for conversations. I can't imagine how much they would have to talk about. Like, let's do let's do a little bit of talking then. Yeah, yeah. Day two conversation. Give me D twenty, Jamie. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. That's a ten. That's the worst one. Should I roll again? Nope. That's All what right. we gotta do. Oh, here's Liam. Which one's ten? Uh, the short and speech, <laughs> shy, <laughs> mumbling voice. <laughs> oh, here's Liam. Are 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 you all right? You seem uh you seem down. No, I'm fine. This is, I, I this seems a bit out of care. Well, I shouldn't say this seems unlike you because you are famously unpredictable. But um. No, I'm just I'm just wondering. We'll see, you know, what kind of things you're into? <laughs> what, what, what was... Well, I didn't quite catch that. What was uh, that? No, never mind. No, forget about it. It's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. If you're, if you're sure. I didn't want pride. <laughs> Sal- Salim is baffled. Like, this person who yesterday was... So bombastic and so larger than life and, like, changing an entire city and using magic and shit. And then, like, (laughs) plummeting out of the sky, more or less grabbing him and saying, Hey, we're gonna be cosmic lovers and go on a world, like, a a world-changing quest. And now he's acting like this, so he's very confused. Uh, I just rolled a seven. Okay. Um, which is, I'll just ask you a question. And he goes like, sh- like strong muscular oh, no. arms, like lift up Salim as they're flying. He's like, I want to know what kind of things you're into. Oh, that that's that's my that's my mistake. I didn't quite hear that. Um, let's see. <laughs> what am I into? Uh, I want to know your hobbies, boy. I want to know your favorite plays to watch. Yeah, yeah. What did Salim? What did Salim do while he wasn't? What did What did Salim do when he wasn't managing his shitty glassware shop? Um. It's like a growth in the middle of it. I. I I I I definitely had a few favorite uh plays, a few favorite shows, but uh they were the <laughs> they were the <laughs> they were the they were the illegally streamed ones where you kidnap a troop of players <laughs> and you force them to put on the show. <laughs> I would I would sneak out to go to the uh we called it, we called it the dark net. Um, <laughs> the net you catch them in <laughs> at night. I, I liked Game of Thrones myself. <laughs> that show was a little bit too predictable for me. <laughs> I I was behind everyone else though, so I just made them replay the first couple of seasons. <laughs> okay, roll another d twenty four. All right. We'll do just a little bit more of this scene. Uh, I rolled a five. Oh, okay, so let's see. Um, what are some other important things? Okay, let's see. Favorite food. Mine is whatever. <laughs> right now, it's got to be buttered corn on the cob. This very second. Nope. Now it's now it's jumbo shrimp. Nope. I'm kidding. It's apples. Wow. <laughs> Apple I, pie. Sorry. I've I've never had something called jumbo shrimp, but now I I do want to. I'm I'm so curious now. Oh, you probably wouldn't find those here in the desert. <laughs> Although yeah. he snaps his fingers, and it, the biggest jumbo shrimp, yes, like elephant-sized jumbo shrimp, just yes. falls from the sky and lands in the middle of the desert, like already cooked. Yeah, there's yeah. one right there. Wow. Are, we, are we are we still in the cloud? <laughs> Yeah, no, we're in the cloud. The shrimp is on the ground. Like he he made it happen. It like like cloud with a chance of meatball style fell what? into the desert. Why did you do that? Are are we gonna stop? I'm gonna have to ask you to never ask me that question <laughs> about any anything I do. What? It'll like, save you a lot of headache. Then I can't I can't eat it though. I can't. I can't try Oh, you it. wanted to eat the shrimp! Well, then why did you make it? You said you'd never seen one! 
Oh, it's you know what? Is. That checks out. That's true. It's right there. Yeah. Yep. There it is. Oh, it's gone yep. over the horizon. You're We're flying fast. You know what? I can't argue with that logic. That's an excellent point. <laughs> Why do people try to argue? <laughs> with my logic. <laughs> I'm the most logical character in this whole show. Character. I've had a goal, and I've worked towards it. Show? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> roll one more. Oh, he rolled a seven again. I told you not to worry about it. <laughs> and that's uh, their conversation goes back and forth. Yeah, between yeah. <laughs> the moods. Now, just so I know, does Selene, how does Selene handle the mood changing? I think it takes a bit to get used to for sure. But it's also like one of the things he was most dissatisfied with in his life in A was like the monotony of the shop and how nothing mm. ever really changed. So even though this is kind of a lot to keep up with and kind of wild i think he's having a great time <laughs> like mm. um because he's he's here for the the adventure the yeah new. the the hectic nature of the adventure including both the literal adventure but also the the weird i keep wanting to say chaos and i'm trying to avoid it <laughs> but also like the weird okay, unpredictability chaos. of just how mirgic acts and talks because it is so wildly different from anything from anyone he's ever met before yeah now here's what I need to know. Now right. He's gonna he's he will see the entire since he's spending all day with Mirjik for yeah. you know multiple days at this point. Yep. Yeah. And you can tell me maybe he doesn't have this yet, but he will later on in the season. Okay. But does he have a favorite mood of Mirjik's? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Is it the flirty one, the rhyming okay. one, the normal goofy one? Oh boy, that's a great question. Um. I, <laughs> I'm going to say the sassy one that sassy has one? the, the clapping after every important word. Um, <laughs> I think that is, I think that is a favorite. Now he has not yet told Mirjik that he likes that one so much. Oh, of course. Um, he may, he's maybe just the littlest bit like, <laughs> maybe just like, just, there, there is just a hint of like, I don't want to admit that I'm into this. <laughs> <laughs> But he's into it. Yeah, he's he into it for it. sure. Yeah. It. Okay. Uh, I think on the third day of their traveling, uh, and this is just so because I want to personally. Right. Um, I'm gonna give another mood here. Fourteen. Oh, that's this is perfect. This is literally the perfect one. Uh, Mirjik kind of he settles down. He swooshes them down onto um a sand dune. Okay. And kind of goes whoosh, and kind of swirls all of the sand up in the air and. Uh, I want us to roll our first table here. Oh, okay. Uh, roll on the materials table. That's a D12, Jamie. I rolled a one. Okay. Ooh, that's fire. Fire. Okay. So Mirjik swooshes down in the sand, kind of swirls around them, and builds this dome around them of fire. <laughs> now, the dome is big enough that Salim, you know, isn't burned, but it's... Okay. It's hot in there. Holy He's, shit. And and uh, Mirjik says, okay, so... I put you down here because we're about to go to the gate. I don't know if you've ever been there before. It's kind of a, I mean, it, it's a garbage of city, but there's a lot <laughs> wow. of people there and your outfit right now. And he, and he's in his like normal, like cow form. Oh yeah. And by yeah, normal yeah. cow form. I mean, his six appendaged form. Right. Uh, but the, the size that like can come down and talk to a human, not the, exactly, not the yeah. giant sized. Okay. Yeah, he's not cloud. He's not in his cloud form. Right, right, right. Uh, and he and he's like when he says your figure, he kind of like puts his four hands, just kind of like, mm, yeah, like, patting his shoulders. Like this, it's got to go. Uh, <laughs> this wardrobe is so two hundred years ago. Believe me, I was there. <laughs> wow. I mean, I wasn't. I was kind of. I was in a ring. It was really hard to see. But from what I was told, <laughs> this is what it was. And so we need to dress you up. But I'm not. I'm not into following the trends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> noticed but this is ugly and it makes you look not good and wow. i need something uh, new i need something that's yours and my combined <laughs> that makes you look like less of a worthless piece of flesh wow that's uh that hurts a little bit but my intrigue over where we're going with this is enough that i can ignore it uh yeah let's go so we're gonna need to make his his new outfit okay um, I realize we don't have a clothes. How are we going to do that, right? Nathan? Jamie, yeah. pick. Uh, I think this is going to be. I, w I want this to actually look cool. Okay. But also look funky. 
So we're going to start with the clothes, and then yeah. we're going to make the colors on the table. I think I think having this be only audio is going to help us in this case, because we can say a weird eclectic mix of things, and if we're committed enough to saying it, it'll sound good. Yes. <laughs> what, more of the story. Listeners, yeah. whatever we say, it will work out. Yeah, yeah. It will actually be good. Jamie, what is his headgear? Headgear? Yep, we're making an outfit. Ooh, what does okay. he wear on his head? Okay. Um, this is we are in a video game. Yeah. Character creator, and you are selecting the head. I will select the torso. Yeah. We'll do um <laughs> the bottom half and shoes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I mean, God, if we're going big, I mean, I mean, like a crown, right? It's a crown. Let's just do it. Yeah. Done. Crown. Yeah. Um, for some reason, and I cannot get this out of my head. Okay. It is. I'm picturing. A vest, okay, like a sleeveless kind of thing. Yep, no buttons. Okay, but it's but it goes long and it flows downward. Sure. So almost like I guess that's like cloak, or not a cloak, like a robe. No, no, it is, it is, it is interesting to have the sleeveless aspect of it though. It's got to be sleeveless though. Yeah, Show those arms yeah. off. That this was Mirjik's choice. Mirjik wanted the arms. <laughs> um, okay, okay. And I think as he's doing, it, he's like. Oh, give me another D twenty, Jim. Okay, as we're as we're uh four. Okay, yes. <laughs> we'll get all the arm space for decorations. We could do tattoos. We could do piercings. We could do bracelets. Whatever you need, we could make it special. <laughs> or just a lot of hunky muscle. Oh, stop you. Or chunky muscle. They're both I, fine with me. What? What? <laughs> What is that? Oh, um, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah. We did say Salim was a, a bigger guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. We definitely said he's he he's not the most toned fella in the world. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay. This is the kind of positivity we're here for, yeah. Mirchik's not a bad guy. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he's, he's a bad guy. He's not a bad guy. This is, does not mean you are a bad guy. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right, uh, the legs. What do we got there, Jamie? Nothing funny or wild is coming to mind. Like, what what craziness can there be in the realm of pants, you know? Well, how about this then? Yeah. Cargo pants. Cargo pants. No one else in the world is going to have cargo pants. Cargo pants. Cargo pants. Cargo pants. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the cargo pants king. The Hell yeah. Uh, this is no, great. I said- I, I stole pants, so Jamie, you gotta do the shoes then, since I just stole the pants from you. Okay. This is so fun. I mean, yeah, it's it's a kind of footwear that Salim has certainly never seen before. Of course. It's like, it's like this strange material that's a little bit, it, it's like it's firm, like it's fine for, for keeping shape, it's not gonna fall apart or anything, but it is right. a little bit softer than he expected, Stop. it's not like leather or something. Um, The, the edges are kind of rounded, so it's like mm-hmm. sort of a bulky round look and Jimmy? there's like little holes all over it there's little there's holes <laughs> yeah there's little holes and is there like a strap in the back <laughs> yeah there's a little strap in the back <laughs> and he's like these are what what a what what a cutting edge uh, unexpected <laughs> uh fashion choice this is what do you call them <laughs> well i have a little acronym <laughs> cutting edge that's a cutting c edge. reliable reliable R. overall good looking that's an O. Cutting edge again. <laughs> to double down on that. And then sexy. Cutting A gold edge. Crux. Reliable. Overall good looking. Cutting edge. Sexy. <laughs> A call him Crocs. We call him Crocs for sure. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. I have like 10 different things I need to be working on in my downtime. I can't devote hours to fan art of Salim, but I want to. I want We're not to done so yet. bad. We're not done. We're not done, Jamie. We're not done. Okay. Okay. Uh, also on our randomness charts, we have a colors oh, yeah. and a patterns. Yeah, I do. think this is how it will tie it together. The whole out, uh, outfit okay. is going to be the same pattern Ooh, okay. and the same color. So, uh, Jamie, you do colors. Colors. And I'll do... The patterns. Oh boy. This is how we play the game, folks. Playing it loose. Oh, great. I got checkered, which means we'll, we'll need probably two colors. So I can do that. Checkered. For sure. My first one was a seven for purple. Okay. I Honestly, I was picturing purple in my head, so I'm glad you, you rolled that one. Uh, okay. My second roll was 19. Fun thing about 19 on the colors table, 19 was originally planned to be... Stop 
roll twice, and it's a combination of those two colors. Okay. But, interestingly, this is already the second color because maybe, of the checkered pattern. Maybe because the dice knew we were going to do that. <laughs> the dice knew, and they, they rolled it for us so we're not cheating. So roll again. Okay, just roll one more time. Yeah, just roll one more time. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It'll be two colors. Well, that's a seven, so that's no good. Pur- it's just, it's this purple. Purple checkered with purple. I mean, we could, I guess, if they're just, like, slightly different purples. <laughs> Maybe one's, like, a, a magenta. Uh, yeah, we could. And one is, like, a deep purple. Sure. Yeah, we no, gotta I'm do down. what the dice say. All right. So, this whole outfit, we've got this crown. And are you picturing, like, tiara crown or like chunky king pointed tips crown Um, i don't know both have potential um i like i like bigger in my we could go i'm picturing bigger we go with a big crazy crown big crazy crown yeah he's got his long vest he's got his cargo pants cargo pants and his crocs yeah and all of them are this purple checkered pattern yeah it's purple on purple purple on purple and you know what it works. Yeah, you might be thinking that this outfit looks ridiculous. You guys, you said it was going to look good, and I w- I'm here to remind you, you haven't actually seen it yet. And let me tell you, <laughs> nothing you has it. looked this good in the history of the world. That's a guarantee. That's a mirjit guarantee. That's a mirjit guarantee. <laughs> that's a mirjit guarantee. Yeah. Also, uh, if you guys don't make fan art, we will. Uh, because oh yeah, <laughs> I'm already in love with this. Uh, <laughs> That is an excuse not to do it. Please make it. Right. I love when it brings me joy when you guys draw pictures. Thank you. Salim immediately has more like canon descriptive visual appearance than Rainer than, does. Than Rainer does. Yeah. 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 One more thing yep. I need Salim to have. What is his face? Does he have facial hair? Does Mirjik give him oh. facial hair? Or is he clean? Huh. Is he clean shaven? Um, like a whistle. Hmm. <laughs> How about Soul Patch? I'm soul, go patch. soul patch. Soul patch. Yeah. Done. Yeah. All right. I think that's enough time spent on that. Hell so yeah. So we've got Sleem. He's beautiful. And he's got his epic sword as well that he, yes. he wields like a pen. Real quick recap. This sword was first a giant pane of glass that said the end is near. And then it got turned into a really shitty sword that was like easily breakable. And then through a lot of other shenanigans, it turned into like the most powerful sword in the world that says the end is near on the blade, which was one of the coolest things I've ever heard in my and life. It is willed like a pen. That is wielded like a pen. Uh, and the reason that's relevant is Salim's skill is not in sword fighting or any kind of weapons. His skill is in penmanship. Okay. I just rolled another Mirjik mood, which is uh, actually the same mood. Okay. Um, so he goes... I've seen better, but I guess this will have to do. We don't really have more time to work on this. I mean, purple on purple. <laughs> Whose choice was that? I f- Mine? I Ugh. I feel I feel good. I feel beautiful. I I've, I've never felt this way before. This is incredible. Is this what fashion is? I suddenly understand it now. This is why people love fashion. I'm doing the voice wrong. Goddamn. Uh Hold on. Maybe no. His voice maybe changed. His voice is different. <laughs> he, his voice became more confident oh, in okay. this moment. That was part of the makeup. <laughs> Let's hear more of this new voice. I I'm already gonna forget it though. <laughs> Just start talking. Uh, that that was the end of the speech though. I didn't have anything else planned. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, give me another D twenty for Mirajik. Oh fuck. Kids, don't drop dice. That is an eight. <laughs> You're so beautiful. I'm so sorry about the things I said. Oh, please take me back. He's like crawling on his knees. He's like, I love it. It's so cool. I wish I could you, look that good. All you, I have is six appendages you, and these crazy horns. You you made these clothes. I don't I don't know why you're apologizing. <laughs> I'm cursed by looking so ugly. What? <laughs> is that is that a thing? I didn't know that was an insecurity you have. I feel this way. Babe, do we need to talk about this? <laughs> Did you just call me babe? <laughs> oh, yeah. Was that was that moving too fast? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no one's ever called me babe except for when they referred to me as like an ox. <laughs> You didn't mean it like that, did you? No, no, you I didn't. You probably wouldn't get it either. <laughs> no, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know this ox you speak of. He's so lame. He's only one color. It's so stupid. 
I mean, I'm only like one color right now, but like I could be. I don't mess with colors. What? what well, I do, but what? I, it, what color was it? A better color than I. Am. <laughs> And with that, they oh, yeah. fly off towards the gate. I suppose I suppose they did only meet yesterday, so maybe Babe is going a little fast, but whatever. Well, they're moving physically very fast. They're moving fast. very fast, yeah. As they're approaching the gate, they're, they're arriving in the morning yeah. um, of the fourth day. <laughs> On the fourth day, <laughs> Murgic made chaos. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and it was good. And it was, well, it was. Uh, at this point, um, the gate has... Actually, no, I'll do this in character. We're in the arch, uh, the top floor, with a triangular window viewing over the six districts. I'm seated on the, the seat up, up on many of the steps. Remember, no, no step the step. No step the step. Uh, we don't see a bald figure with one working eye. Rather, we see a woman sitting there bold, powerful, confident. Two working um, eyes. <laughs> two working eyes. Uh, she wears her uh, glass crown. She looks over the city as this other figure, Sansir, uh, approaches her from below. And he says, Keep her off the gate. I am here to inform you that uh, things are going quite well. The Omaris Guard, which have caused us much trouble these last few months, have... Vanished from our view. We do not know if they have fled, or if they have been taken out by some of our other issues. But I will get to them later. It seems that uh, the city is in good peace. They are all thankful for your return. And, of course, we have not seen any Azomites near the city for many years. Checks out. Yep. The keeper nods her heads and smiles, and then she squints as she looks out the window towards the schmest, and she sees <laughs> in the in the early morning light. So again, the oh, sun yeah. is is rising from behind her, so it's hard to quite see. She says, "Sansir, what do you see in my future for today?" Oh. Uh, are you asking for your schedule? I have that right... No. Not my schedule. What do you see? Uh, uh -oh. Is this necessary? Yes. He closes his good eye and he looks and it, it takes him about half a second and all of a sudden he he is tense. Oh, yeah. And his, his hands are up as, as he's looking around, but he, he finishes the vision and he says, It is uh, hard to say. I see a cloud. <laughs> I see a cow. <laughs> I see the most beautiful yet horrendous checkered outfit. <laughs> but after that, I cannot see. Yep. <laughs> What will happen? I've only seen this once before. Oh? And it was with this Rainer Bjornsson fellow. What? Who claimed to be the hero, his free will. Oh, so, gotcha. Yep. It is either another one or there is some other type of strange magic unknown to me that is causing my vision to be clouded. Oh, hell yeah. And then the keeper says... Well, there is only one thing we can do in a situation like this. While the light is young and the, and the shadow is long, have everyone head to the shadow gate where it is safe. And we will ride out this unknown storm together. And she quickly sounds an alarm as the cloud is approaching. And you know, the gate quickly gets into motion, setting up procedures. This is a type of thing that does not happen often. Right, in right. the gate. But it's like a tornado drill. Everyone is prepared for it when it does happen. So it is in that situation that our friends, Mirjik and Salim, stroll into town. Yes. Uh, give me a d20. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> it's so good to be back here. <laughs> You're always only here one time before it was for a party. It was for, <laughs> it was for, it was for going away slash imprisonment slash 
reward party oh, for my yeah. friend slash enemy slash I don't really know him that well. Neener, neener, neener. The writer oh. had given him this whole new dimension, and we were all like, wow, that's so cool. New dimension? Oh. Oh, yeah. Every spirit's like, it's all in. <laughs> I used to, I still kind of have one. Oh, it's really you, nice. you have a dimension? Oh, yeah. It's really <laughs> I mean, it's not as good Can, as everyone else's. I mean, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd love to see it someday. Well, you, you would? Yeah, of course, yes. Another mood. That's a six. Well, we don't have time for that right now. Oh, oh okay. We have yep. a mission to do. This yeah, I, I've been meaning to ask you about that. Uh, Mir, what exactly is it that we're doing here? <laughs> got nicknames from this. You're still per- <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> I think he like he like scoops him up and like rises up almost like you know forming this giant like muscular buff form. Oh, of so himself. he's in like super giant form now. He's in okay, he's yeah, still in cloud yeah. form, but I'm picturing like um forming more of like a cloud yeah. cow muscular mass form as he looms sure. over the city. And he's like, Salim, look over at this city. Yep. Look at all the people running around. And do you see that arch on the other end? Uh, yes, I see the arch, yes. All the magicians and wizards and chefs trying to work on the food magic. <laughs> okay. They're trying to predict, they're trying to control magic. And that is an insult to our very existence. It, it you is? Can, yes, you cannot control magic. You cannot predict it. It is. Is unknowable, uh, and that is what we represent, okay. Salim. We represent chaos magic, aka. Say it with me, magic. M- magic. Okay. Yes. Okay, I, we'll I wasn't work on quite. That one. Yeah. I, I was stuck we'll on the chaos. On I thought you wanted me to say chaos magic again, so I was. I was no. a little. Yes. Okay. No, that's my okay. name. And he like he like clenches his fist fist oh, around oh, Salim a little oh, bit more. Oh, He's like, okay, oh, oh, okay, that that hurts a little. Uh, but also, you know, it's kind of never mind. You're <laughs> <laughs> so good. At this. <laughs> okay, uh, sixteen. It's like okay, so here's the thing. Alcub's got all these different people around here, so maybe we can like transform to colors and things. Maybe switch the animals around. I don't yep. know, flip them upside down. I don't know, we can do every one. Oh, oh, really? It's up to you. I mean, we so many different directions and places it goes. But eventually, we're gonna go to the gate last. I'm saving it for last. Maybe we should go the first. Oh, most important thing first. Or do you save the dessert for last? I guess I don't really know. There's so many different things. I've been thinking about this for uh, like a thousand years, maybe. Or it's a couple hundred. Let me see. If I carry the two and carry the one, but then there was a couple moons, but it's really hard to see what's in the ring. I don't really which, know what it was which, anymore at this point. Which part was the best? Part? Oh, obviously the arch is going to be the best part. Oh, the arch. Whole thing okay, they're yes, all on one hundred yes. floors. I've not been to all one hundred floors. I believe they have been to one of the floors. Were they open when I visited? I can't even remember. It was so dark. It was so long ago. My memory's not when it used to be. Did he used to have a memory? Was that taken away from me? Oh, <laughs> that memory spirit. Is he real? I've heard rumors about that. I don't even know about that. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so he just he rambles on and on. Yeah. Um. I I could never forget you. <laughs> <laughs> Roll another d twenty. <laughs> Uh, that's a two. Okay. He goes, <sighs> sorry about that one. <laughs> sorry about that, Slamey. Um, no, I mean, it happens. Uh, let me let me get my head straight. I want you to pick. What do you want to do first? There's six mm-hmm. districts. Which one do you want to go to? We got the dry, the sacred, the fallen, the torn, oh, the overgrown, uh, and the flooded. Which one do you want? Uh, is the overgrown, is it like visibly covered with plants? We can see them from yes. here? Yeah, you can see them from here, yep. The one that's covered in plants over, you said the overgrown? Yes. The, um, I, I'm, I'm itching to see what we can do with all of those uh, giant plants and such. Oh, you're itching. Uh, yeah. Well, what if we made them all itchy? Oh, Oh no! Done, and and like he he just like snaps his fingers, and you visibly can't see a difference, like because it's not a visible thing. He's like, right. oh, but that was kind of boring. Um, oh yeah. Well, I I'll admit I thought it was gonna involve like turning them into some some crazy big thing or something. I I don't know. I guess my imagination was a bit limited, to be honest. No 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 no. We just we start with what we start with, and then we go from there. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's make all the plants not plants. Ooh, okay. Um, should we do... Hell yes, table time. Do we want to do materials or objects? <laughs> the idea of... Okay, the object... <laughs> objects table is a list of objects. Materials is different, like, things um, that things can be made out of. 
for the audience. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, materials is going to be more like like substances or yes, like when when back when Quiss was Conquest and he was trying to figure out what kind of chaos magic it would Shame be. You know, pick the, pick the table. But I'm, I mean, it's got to be objects, right? Like the potential here. Okay, objects. I'll roll that one. <laughs> I got a seventeen, which is pillow. Pillow. Okay. <laughs> and then Mirjik claps um, two of his hands together, is crisscross it, style. Is it going to be all of them? <laughs> all of the plants <laughs> in the overgrown district are now, like, they're same shape. Oh, okay. Same form, but they are now pillows. It's the pillow district. But here's the thing. Oh. We just said they're all going to make you itchy. Oh, no. That's the worst type of pillow. Oh, my. What an, What a cruel trick. To make an itchy pillow. Does Salim say that? <laughs> what, what a cruel trick. <laughs> to make yeah. an itchy pillow. Yeah, that one was kind of mean. Maybe we should do something nice for him. What's something nice we should do for all the people of this beautiful city? Which, again, you can see, like, you can now hear, like, some kind of, like, siren, you know, emerging <laughs> as people are running towards... Um, to- you don't know it, but we know that they're running towards like these shadow portals. Do they have an alarm for when their plants get turned into pillows? That's incredible. No, that's. I think that's a. I think that's them saying hello. Really, that's oh. a big hello. Um, if they yeah. have one for itchy pillows, good on them. That's, <laughs> that's impressive. That's some foresight right there. What What were you going to say? Oh, we should do something nice for them. We just turn all the yeah, plants yeah, to itchy yeah, pillows. Yeah. We should what? We should do something nice for them. Yes. Definitely. Maybe uh, give everyone a free pet. Let's give everyone a free pet. <laughs> All right. What are you thinking? <laughs> uh, normal animal chart. Oh, excellent. Are you rolling it? Uh, you do it. Kay. I rolled the last one. We have two animal charts, by the way, are norm- like normal earth animals and then animals we've made up in Palladome. <laughs> wait, wait, which one was this one? Normal animals? Normal, yeah. So D20. <laughs> I rolled a one. <laughs> everyone gets a free salmon. <laughs> At the same time, everyone suddenly has a salmon. Every single now, this one this just takes a little bit more. So yeah, Mirjik yeah. does like a like a clap clap, and then you just just you can hear the noise for that one's making. It's just everyone just like goes. Ah, do they the, ah! do they just fall out of the sky or do they just appear? I think they appear in everyone's arms. <laughs> so most people drop them. Oh the, no! The drop them. Um, I think. Let's go, Mac. Let's go, micro. Okay. Salazar and Celeste. <laughs> they hear this noise going off, um, the alarm, and they, you know, Celeste knows what it is. Yeah, yeah. And Salazar's like, "What's going on?" Yeah. And all of a sudden, they both have a salmon <laughs> in their. There's like a tornado <laughs> siren going on. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's magical. Um, <laughs> and they both just have a salmon in their arm. <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. No, okay. All right, this is good stuff. Uh, right, right. I'm gonna do another mood. He's been too normal for a while. Uh, oh, five, same mood. Ooh. Okay. All right, this is great. Okay, so we did a little bit of a tricky. We did a nice present. Now, visually, oh, music, music, music. Wait a minute, music. Uh, yes. I I can't yes. see the salmon from here. What color are they? <laughs> Well, I was thinking salmon, but you want them to be a different color, don't you? I kind of want them to be a different color. <laughs> <laughs> you you know me so well. I know you so well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shoot, I'll do it. Uh, that's a 13. Pink. Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> that's how it is. That's how it is, I guess. That is like... The closest it could possibly be to regular ass salmon color, pink. They're just. But what pink. if we crank it up? It's like a bubblegum pink. That's so. That's such crank a letdown. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, Salim. Oh my God. Salim Diam. Okay. What, sorry. Sorry. What'd you say? Salim Diam. <laughs> so yes, that's my name. Listen. Sometimes you gotta remember. This, sometimes yeah, random yeah. and chaotic is actually predictable. Yeah, otherwise it would become too predictable. <laughs> you got it! I'm, you got I'm with you. <laughs> That's the key. Sometimes you don't change anything. <laughs> and that's what really gets... Oh my god. 
That's a really good song. Let's go down. Let's go. Let's go give him a visit. Yeah. Because you yeah. guys have just been this big cloud. That's just like right. <laughs> like everyone just sees this weird cow shaped cloud up above. Yeah, um, we're like back super over far the, away. Back over at the arch, uh, <laughs> Sansir is like, I have heard of this in legends before. <laughs> This is the Murgic spirit. Wow. Have you heard of Mumbed A Murgic? The Temple of Murgic. Can it please be while he's saying very dramatically the Temple of Murgic is when the salmon appears in his arms? Yeah. He's like, oh. <laughs> It has already begun. We must get down to the shadow gate before it is too late. Oh uh, so I think, I think at this, uh, Mirjik, he sees everything that's going on. He sees all the people fleeing. I'm going to give him another mood. I'm so, oh, three. He's- I'm so torn because I absolutely adore this kind of, like, harmless chaos magic, but I know that it has to get darker or else we'll have nothing to stop in the main story. <laughs> yes. And so I think Mirjik goes, no, hold on a second. What? Slim? Everybody's yeah. leaving. Uh, where, yeah, where are they going? Ah, it's in the portals. It's, it's a mess. Oh, okay. We don't need that. It's activated by shadow power. Okay. We can change this. And what, what Mirjik uh, does. okay. Is he does, you know, like those, those people who like, kind of like slap their body to like a rhythm. Sure. He like does that instead of clapping. <laughs> and all of a sudden the shadows oh, in no. the city, like coming out from the gate. They all like curve and spiral, like like they like zigzag. What? Actually, let's roll in the patterns. Oh, okay. Let's roll in the patterns. Um, a D eight. Yeah, let's see what they do. Seven geometric shapes. Okay, so let's go okay. with like. Uh, I'm just gonna grab a random dice here and see what shape it is. Triangles. Triangles. Okay, so everyone's shadows is now made out of triangles. What the fuck? Okay. So it's like partial, and Weird. so because of that, it's now interrupting the the like portals yeah stuff. i would say so <laughs> he's like yay it worked <laughs> the party shall continue <laughs> what is this new voice <laughs> salim i'm gonna need you to just calm down sometimes i get excited and i get new voices no it's it's fine i just i just thought i had a catalog of all the different voices and that was a new no, one so it's it just a catalog of moods not my sense. Okay. Listen, listen. You know I like the variety. <laughs> okay, I think um, we've had a lot of surface level fun here, but let's get to <laughs> let's get to the heart of things. Lead the way. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Um, I guess he starts walking. Uh, they're still like flying over the city. Oh, then what is he telling Celine to do? <laughs> Lead the way. What? Start walking. What? Oh, hold on. He like he like sprinkles his like fingers over him. There you go, you can fly now. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Salim can fly. Salim can fly. He can fly, he can fly, he can fly. Do it. Okay, go. yeah, Salim starts flying. Roll another D twenty for Mirjik. Nice. Ooh, that's a that's a nat twenty. Oh. I don't remember what that is for Mirjik. That's jokes and metaphors. Oh, nice. Okay, so as they start flying towards uh, the gate again, uh, Sansir and the keeper, I think the keeper says, Sansir, we need to go right now. Is the lift working again? No, it is still. Uh, has not been used since it tried to kill me. It's the most complicated magic there is. <laughs> okay, is there a quicker way that we can? And then all of a sudden, Frodric and Wodric both appear, grab both of them, and teleport them. Oh, shit. Downstairs. Quickly, go. Head towards the shadows. We'll hold down the gate. You must be safe. <laughs> and so, okay, we will. We will hopefully be back soon. Right. And they start heading out, and of course, they don't realize that the shadows have been, you know, messed with the portals They've- and... Isosceles-fied, just... yeah. Yeah, isosified. Um <laughs> Okay, uh, I got, okay, I got a joke for you, Celine. Oh, I, I do love jokes. Knock, knock. Come in? No, okay. <laughs> you have to say who's there, okay? Oh, may, maybe that's maybe that's a cultural thing that hasn't made it to A yeah. yet. <laughs> yeah, you guys are a little backwater without the water, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're just back. <laughs> yes, imagine... That there was a well full of water and there wasn't any water. That's you guys. Right. That's my metaphor. Right. Okay, I got it. Let's try again. Yep. Duck, duck. 
who's there? It's us! And he just, like, <laughs> swooshes right into the gate. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Okay. Okay, so... Where do we want to go first? There's a hundred floors. So where do we want to go? Did we just go into the arch? Yeah. He's okay. Gonna... I think you might have said, and then we go into the gate. Well, I'm at the arch. Okay. <laughs> Even uh, I screwed up. I guess, uh, to be fair, I guess they probably just went in the top floor, right? Okay, sure. So we're in that, that grand place with the throne on it. He says, what should we do to this? Oh, this big goodness. throne. Uh... Do you, I mean, do you want it? Or, or, or do no. you want to, like, destroy it or something? Or... I'm going to make it. And he rolls a d20. Nice. Well, he doesn't roll a d20. I roll a d20. Right. It's now a bucket. The throne is a bucket. Okay. The throne is a bucket. He's like, okay. God, so much better. <laughs> I love it. It's correct. <laughs> Salim, is it, is it like, it's like the bucket is like upside down and Salim like goes over and sits on it and he's like, ha 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 ha. This is funny. Salim's sense of humor is a little bit lacking. <laughs> Hold on. We haven't used any of my like. We haven't done anything really big, you know? Oh, okay. Should we do something? I um, need you. Should we do something to a district or this floor? I'm going to let you decide. Hmm. What, what, el- what else is on this floor besides this room? Uh, like waiting rooms. Oh, okay. Well, that's sort of, that's not super interesting. How about yeah. a district then? Okay. Which one? Hmm. You, you can like look out the windows like, they're beautiful. Which one? Wasn't one of them called the sacred district? Oh, oh, my boy. I see your play. Roll a, D, uh, roll a D10. D10? Mm-hmm. Yo, playing a villain-aligned character in Knight's Quest is fucking nuts. Do, 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 do. I rolled a six. Six. Oh, <gasps> spikies. What? No, that's the best and worst one. What? It is Mirjik. He, like, he, like, sh- he, like, stretches a little bit. He's like, okay, yeah. He, like, cracks all of his fingers, like, at the same time, like, all six of them, like, and he's like, I've never tried this one before, but yeah. it'll really, oh, this will really, really piss him off. What, what, what are we going to do? Are we going to do more pillows or, or change no. a different color? No. Well, all, I almost thought about colors. Okay. But then I thought, you know, Nino, Nino, Nino got his own dimension. I got my own dimension. Celine. Okay. Do you want your own dimension? <laughs> I, oh boy, I think his curiosity wins out. I think he's like, I mean, the, but I don't, yeah. Then, I think Mirjik, as he's saying this next few lines, he's gonna like, like grow to, like, he doesn't normally grow whenever he does spell, but he's like, grows like a little bit, and like puffs out his chest, he's like, then let it be so. And he just like claps all six hands together. And all of a sudden, you just see that whole district, like, shake and, like, shimmer. But not like an earthquake, but just, like, the vision of it is shaking. And then okay. it isn't there. Oh, my God. But yet you know it still is there. Okay. But in a different dimension. The sacred district has become the sacred dimension. The sacred dimension. <sighs> <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, give me a D twenty for Mirjik. Uh, nineteen. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, oh, that's just so funny. It's just so funny. They tried to keep it sacred, so we made it more sacred by like shoving it off. Oh my god! And pushing I, it away. Why? I I feel like it's gone, but I I somehow feel like it's still there. But no, I just... think we need to figure out how do we get to this new dimension. We got that's the last thing you got to figure out. How do you get to it? Hmm. We could just do a door. We can make it a password. We can make it one item, like a ring or any other. We can just pick a random object. Hmm. Random object to get to the room, to the dimension. Random object. I feel like if we just make, like, a roll random object, and that is the, like, link item, like, that okay. was the ring for Mujik's dimension, and. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then Salim can just have it. <laughs> just on him? Yeah, so here we go. It's like, how about this? I've oh done God. this before. So I, w- I just want you to know, okay, it's like, it's it's not like I'm re-gifting because it's a new gift, but I have given this to other people I'm in a committed relationship with before. So that's not a comparison. But it's almost like, have you ever been given something for your birthday? 
and you didn't like it. But no, that's not a good metaphor. I'm really bad at metaphors. It's 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 all right, Mir. I know you've had some crazy exes. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a new ten. He's like, okay, thanks. <laughs> All right, I'm going to roll the item. Okay. Uh, we got a 16, which is a glass bottle. Interesting. Okay. Here's how I'm going to do it. Here's how I'm going to... He he presents, instead of a snow globe, a sand globe. Oh. <laughs> of the sacred okay. district. He goes, here you go. I meant this. Is... Mir, did, did you just put a city in a globe and give it no. to me? No, not really. I mean, kind of. But it's, this isn't actually it. This is just a model. What? What? <laughs> but it is it? Oh, but it's not. So it's kind of okay. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm finding this hard to visualize in real life. <laughs> Roll another d20. Yeah, I can this only, is terrible I can only for explaining imagine things. how Salim is taking it. Don't drop your dice, kids. Don't drop dice. Friends don't let friends drop dice. Uh, I rolled an 18. <sighs> okay. There we go. <laughs> My darling Selene, this gift for you is pretty. Within the glass is a model of that part of the city. It is a portal to a new dimension. And what's great about it is you can look at it from any direction. There is the buildings, and there are the streets, the whole Layout is 100% complete. <laughs> but if you dropped it and it took a great fall, the dimension wouldn't break. Nothing would change at all. <laughs> For this is simply just a little toy, but it's a powerful gift I'm giving to you, my boy. <laughs> I think Salim, Salim is like in awe and he like wipes a tear away from his eye and he's like... That was, that was a bit of a stretch, but this means so much to me. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna roll another one. Okay, uh, four. Well, okay, hold on a second. I sense someone. They're trying. Someone is what? using a sake talkie in this building. A what? It's it's a long story. I oh, I'm, okay. I'll have to show. Oh, it's cool. It's annoying. <laughs> but I. I just don't. I don't like them because they interfere with my head. Oh. They get they get cloud up my head. I don't like it. Oh, we can't we can't have that. No. So hold on, and he just like punches down, and just like a hole appears like in the floors oh. beneath him. Okay. And he just like peers over, and he's like, "Oh, there it is!" And he like swooshes down with Celine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he sees Frodrick and Wodrick using the the sake taki. I, you know what? I think I think Salim is feeling like a lot bolder than before. I think he's gonna draw his sword, and since he knows the sake taki is the important thing, he's gonna be like, "Uh, we'll be taking that, please." And he like he like covers up one end. Of it. He's like, "Please, please, I'm I'm just waiting for them to. They're saying they're getting someone on on, on the other end, uh, so they can, they can hear me. Uh, uh please, please, uh, uh, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> and how about you do the introductions? Yeah, I think he says. My name is Salim, but more importantly, I'd like to introduce you. I'd like to introduce the world to Mirjik. And I uh, that th- I that that's what I that's what I had planned. I thought it was kind of a cool cool line. That's that's what I had. No, okay. Yeah, uh, that was really great. Yeah. Um, Thank one you. thing yeah. I'm gonna need you to right. do though, it's kind of yep. it's like a pedigree thing. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. it's, yeah. it's it. It's the spirits. They all love it. We all kind of got okay. like three names. Oh, okay. Um, actually, four depends on how you count. Okay. But okay, it's uh, okay. And he yeah. like whispers it into his ears. Yeah. Like, okay. And then you, just, and, but if you, you know, and then with gusto, with gusto, <laughs> with, that really yeah, sells. Yeah, got it. Got with gusto. It. Okay. All right. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah. Take two. Take two. So yeah. sorry. <laughs> we'll get we'll let you get back to your call in just a right. minute. Uh, and he's like a little bit nervous. He's he's like a kid in a school play. He's like looking back over at Mirjik for support. And he's, he thumbs up. Yeah, he's thumbs like, up. Got six six thumbs up. You got six got thumbs up. Got got I believe in you, babe. Come on. It's on the back of the DVD box. Six thumbs up. Um, <laughs> and I'd like to introduce you. I'd like to introduce the world to the spirit of Mirjik, the Lord of Chaos, the six armed cow, Mirjik. Oh. Is that was that good? Is that that was good? That's that's what we wanted. Okay, good. I was I was real nervous. Oh, 
Chills. Chills. Wow, that was heartwarming. Uh, but um, I, I think I really I felt ask? it, you know? It felt good. Uh, Mr. Guardian Keeper, Lord Steward Slave, uh, annoying guy of the gate, who, are, who you're calling. Oh, that, oh, hold on. It says it right there above. Um, oh! Hot! Have, have you ever, have you ever, do you know about Rillian? No, I don't think so. Oh my gosh. They are, they got sticks up their tushes. <laughs> let me tell you. Especially over here where they live in a big stick. The ba wa you of the beacon. You want to have a chat? Here, I'll, I'll introduce myself. And he and he takes as Wodrick are having this conversation that we've already heard parts of, um, but have been greatly impacted by yeah. Mirjik's presence. Oh, yeah. Um, he grabs the sock. Hello. It's me. Hey, Questies, it's me, Nathan. Thank you so much for listening to episode 15 of season 3. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I got a juicy update to an announcement that we've been given for quite a while, but uh, it's worth hearing, in case you haven't been paying attention. It is less than one month away before the very first Gorf Ball tournament that's ever happened in real life. That's right. It's going to be happening on August 14th. That's a Saturday. August 14th, that afternoon, we're going to be playing in Commons Park in Fridley. And that is a new update. It'll be starting at 2 p.m. And uh, if you go to our website, kqpodcast.com, and click the little Gorf Ball link, that'll take you to the page. You'll find all the info where you can RSVP your team today right now. And we also now officially have the rules uploaded. It took a little longer than I would like to admit. But, you know, I'm, I have a real job. This is a hobby on the hobby. So check that out if you want those rules. I think they're written in a fun format. Otherwise, even if you don't look at them and don't play or practice beforehand, it's a pretty easy to pick up game. And so we would love for you to join us to celebrate Night's Quest three year birthday because that'll be on the 17th of August. So it's around the same time. So we're going to be getting together, hanging out with other fans, just having a blast out in the park, playing some golf ball, eating some food. Maybe there'll be cake for the birthday. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, maybe you will be the first one to ever win the Better Cup. It'll be awesome. So I hope to see you there. If you are planning on coming, please RSVP just so we can know how many people are coming. Um, so we can be excited. We can make the brackets and the tournaments. Uh, you can still show up if you don't RSVP, but I please highly recommend it. It'll make it a lot easier when the day finally comes. So yeah, go to kqpodcast.com and click on the Gorf Ball button it'll take you right to it it'll take you right there again if you're going by yourself if you're going with a friend or two friends you can make a team that way it doesn't matter all works we're gonna have a blast we're gonna have a lot of fun so if you're in the twin cities area if you want to come swing by to fridley we'd love to have you more details can be found on the website kqpodcast.com click that growth ball button let's do it right as this episode is over go do that right now unless you're driving then don't but otherwise do it it'll be great and hopefully if you're listening to this when it first comes out or a couple weeks behind you're still good to go august 14th so it's not too late let's go gorp i'm so excited i'm so pumped this is genuine i'm really excited for this while you're already at kqpockets.com you can check out our music you can check out the merch uh you can leave us a good review you can't do that on the website but you can do that uh you can tell your friends invite your friends to the gorp ball even if they've never listened to night's quest but you just don't want to go solo don't want to go stag bring your friend they can play games and meet new people come on that's fun um and that'll give them an excuse to then maybe like oh we should check out this show that was cool people like i don't know i hope you're enjoying this season so far thank you so much for everyone who's been engaging on the facebook and the instagram um, making memes and fan art it's so encouraging and i genuinely mean this every time i say it every week it really does uh, lift our spirits and encourage us and motivate us every time you make literally anything like even just a post, t- putting words to p- the the screen, 
It, it really gets us going. So thank you so much for all of that. And yeah, I hope you have a, an amazing weekend today or whatever day you're listening this to this. I hope it's just a great day for you. And may your place in his story be long. All right. Sorry, future me. <laughs> Whoops. Don't move your microphones, so- kids. Sorry, future me is a fantastic name for like a memoir. <laughs> What were we talking about? Um, <laughs> Salim and Mirjik flying through cloud and changing oh, yeah. shit around the cloud and the sky. Okay. And I'm such. just going to repeat 